Hello. So if you are the owner of uh, Geo Regal, Geo Titan or Geo Titan Premium, just like this scooter here, and uh, you're wondering how to save your batteries during the winter storage, if you don't have a heated garage and if you live in a condo or apartments and uh, your scooter will be parked outside during the winter. Unfortunately, you already know that this particular model does not come with a quick release battery pack that you can just uh, lift it up and, and uh, charge your battery pack inside of the house. So I will show you what is the options that you have with this model scooter. So I'm going to use a bunch of tools here, but I'm not going to confuse you right away which what you need. So I will be showing you one by one what needs to be done so first of all open your seat now if your scooter came with a windshield be careful when you lifting up the seat you, you probably already know that so that you don't break now you re remove uh, your charger if you store in your if you store in your charger under the seat then you remove four of those 10 millimeter bolts two right here and two on the bottom I already removed mine, so this video will be shorter. Now, next what you want to do is you want to flip your breaker switch to off position. This is really important when you work on the batteries. Now you have four of those batteries that you will need to remove. You start with uh, removing negative wire. And that's why you will need 10 millimeter socket. I recommend you use socket instead of a screwdriver because you might strip that uh, Phillips crossing uh, spot. Okay, now once you remove the negative, you can put your negative wire, you can put your screw back in place so you don't lose it. And now do the same with your red positive wire okay so this is eight millimeter socket that you will be using now installing your little screw back in place now if your scooter came with uh, two black cups instead of red and white uh, and black well, my advice would be uh, try to differentiate somehow which one was positive. And by the way, before even before you remove those two wires that go in the main wires that go into your batteries, sometimes the wire would be might be going all the way into this corner. It does not really that matter. Take a picture on your phone how all of the wires were connected so you don't forget and uh, so you will reconnect exactly the same way in the springtime when you will be reinstalling your batteries to the scooter. So now if your uh, wires came with a two black caps instead of one black and one red, maybe you wanna use a little electrical red color tape. You can buy it at Walmart for under $2 and mark yourself that this is actually positive just in case if there was a different wiring uh, color of the wires maybe your wire will be brown color or you know as long as you remember that you removed from the red battery terminal now you can put those two wires uh, on the side you will not be using them now the next step is to remove those two bolts right here now what i want to mention is that this is a pretty tight spot because it's pretty close to the frame. So if you will be using just a wrench, try to use an offset wrench if you can, 10 millimeter offset wrench so you can work more comfortably in that tight spot. Now you can use, you can also use it with an open end wrench too. This is just the options that I'm telling you. I'm going to use a flex swivel 10 millimeter socket for easy removal and for faster removal by the way so i'm removing those two bolts 
Now, be very careful when you're removing those bolts because if you will, if you will round that uh, head, you will have a really hard time of removing it with any of the sockets or wrenches. Then you will not have that much of an option except to grind it off those bolts. But the problem is that the location of those bolts are so, you know, far and so close to this frame that you might have a you might have a hard time. Let me show you for example. Here is a grinder. I don't see much of the option except if you if your bolt is damaged, like a hat is damaged, is rounded, or the thread is damaged, you will have to probably get a, something like that, like a grinder, and be careful not to damage anything else, like your batteries or wires, and gently cut off the head of the bolt. As you can see, it's really tight space, so this would be the very last emergency option how to remove one of the bolts. I don't think the chisel will, will do the job because that bracket is going to bounce like that and you will not uh, break that bolt. So be careful when you remove it and try to remove it gently. Once you remove this bracket, you are ready to remove completely this holder. Now, in some, if you have any problem with one of the bolts, but one of them is removed, but another one is not, well, maybe this is not the end of the world yet. Simply remove the wire, because your bracket most likely will be under wires, so your wires will be on your way. So remove the wires, and uh, let me show you. Okay, just a second. I'm just showing you in a worst case scenario because I hear that some people they did have problems with removing this bracket. So once you lift up the wires, but let's say that you remove that bolt and this one you cannot. No matter what you do, you cannot remove that bolt. So let's... So you don't really have to remove both bolts. You can just put like that on the side and you will have access to slide out all of the batteries. So as long as at least one of the bolts is removed, you will be fine. Now be careful when you will be installing back that you don't touch with your metal bracket those two terminals because they're going to create big spark melt and you're going to have a little bit of, uh, you will experience little electrical shock. Nothing is going to be dangerous, nothing is going to kill you, but that's not convenient. So I hope you understand how to be careful and how to remove that bracket and how to install it back in place. Okay, next. Now we have batteries. You remember how they were connected like this. Now we're going to disconnect those batteries one by one, pull them out. So again, be careful. As long as you're not going to touch any of those battery terminals because they're going to create some spark. So we'll lift up one by one, open this cap, and uh, if you're not strong enough to lift up two batteries in the same time, then you have to remove this wire. Otherwise, if you can lift up both batteries, then would be this would be even better. Then put on the side. And then if you are strong enough to remove another set of batteries, well, they are not connected right now, but... So, I am removing both of them. Okay. Okay. And this is how they were connected on my scooter, if you remember. Now, how to recharge them at home? Once you bring them to your place for the two, three, four months of winter, let me put on this white thing, so it's going to be more visible for you. Now, now you have four batteries. What to do next? Because 
Now you have your charger, but how are you going to plug them in inside of your house? There is two options. Option is option number one. You go to your local store like Canadian Tire, Home Depot or anywhere and buy yourself a 12 volt battery charger. Preferably, I would say between 4 amps and 6 amps. This one is a 5 amp. So that would be your best choice between 4 and 6 amps. You don't want to go any 2 amps because it's going to recharge your battery very slow, which is good for your battery, but you will have to wait for a long time until it's going to be fully recharged. So 5 amps would be the op optimal size. And uh, it doesn't have to be this brand, by the way, which is I recommend because this one is good. But I don't promote any brands. I'm just showing you which one I use. You can go with any 12 volt uh, battery charger that they have, maybe on sale. And uh, as long as the price is good and the warranty is good, you're good to go. And you have uh, between 4 and 6 amps then you will need to recharge each battery individually so by clamping here and clamping here but you will need to remove this this uh, wire because the charger will recognize that those batteries are connected and it will not start charging most likely depends on the charger but uh, yeah so you put this wire on the side you will need this screw back and then you have another positive uh, alligator clip and you're going to plug in your charger and the charger will recognize your battery automatically that it says 12 volt and it will start charging so just wait until it's going to be fully charged up. When it's going to be fully charged up, the charger will turn off, let's say, and now you can switch to the next battery that you will need to recharge. So that's what you will be doing with every battery. You will be swapping from battery to battery. Uh, well, I have to, sorry, I was not careful. So the charger will recognize that I crossed the polarity because this one was, would be like, if this battery would be sitting like that, but my battery was sitting in different ways. So don't forget that red to red and black to black. Now, as you can see, the alligator clip uh, clamp is not uh, touching bolt that uh, firmly because it's kind of too big so that's why you need to remove it so you will have a better access to the terminal but what i'm trying to say you will have to recharge each battery one by one one by one during this winter time storage so basically if your win winter is uh, six months more or less like in canada you will have to do it at least uh, three times during this winter storage at least three times you will have to recharge your batteries one by one individually this is one option if you don't like that option let me show you another option that what what i would do so let's connect this wire back in place and uh, and i'm sh going to show you the another option how 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 you can do the quick type uh, quick type connector and recharge all the, all batteries in the same time with your original scooter charger okay Okay, just like that. Now, now we have a original charger. Doesn't matter which one you have. Uh, it might be a, a different shape on the Geo Regal and Geo Titan. This is Geo Titan Premium, so it's a little bit different shape. But how do you connect? Well, you will need to buy those two parts. It's called battery cable. 
part number Titan 13. Okay, so you call to a geo company, talk to your salespeople and ask them for the set of battery cables, part number Titan 13. And the second part that you'll be buying is a Italia MK input plug, part number G3040160. I hope you can see it on the video. So what is going to come into that? So the battery cable, this is the cables that you want to buy. Basically, you're buying another set of cables, the one that you have on the batteries right now. So this is how it's going to come. Set of cables. And the second part that I've been showing you, this Italia MK input plug. This is the plug that exactly the same as you have on your scooter. This is how it looks. So you need those two parts. Now, once you have those cables, you're going to take only two out of this box and you're going to have two spare cables. Okay, now we're going to use one cable and remove isolation, electrical, and we're going to install it to a black terminal. So if you're going to do this, probably it's going to be cheaper for you uh, to buy uh, these battery cables and this plug that I'm showing you instead of going to the store and buying a trickle charger and recharging those four batteries individually. If you will buy this set of uh, battery cables and this plug, you will be using your original scooter charger and you will be charging all of those batteries in the same time. Now we're taking a second wire, second uh, wire, and we're going to cut the black side because we, we need red to connect it here. Okay, so let's see. Okay. Okay. Just a second. Okay. Now we have now we have two wires. We're gonna put those batteries closer to each other. Now we have one is black, negative, and another one is red, positive. Do not touch them to each other, otherwise it's gonna be huge spark and the battery might explode. Now we need to connect this connection plug. Okay? So once you will have this connection plug, cut off those two wires. Now you will be asking, well, now which one is which one? Because this one is brown, this one is black. Well, now this is a good time for you to look at your charger. You're gonna have a charger with this plug. Look at the charger and it's going to be stamped plus, which is positive, and on the other side is minus, which is negative. Don't worry about this top middle one, it's not connected to anything. So this one is plus. I hope you can see on the video. So if you will align this socket with this plug, and you remember that plus was on the right side, and if you will align it, then you know that your plus is right here, which is black in my case. Maybe on your charger is going to be reversed. So you have to pay attention at the plug itself because every charger is going to be, uh, every model of the Geo scooter is going to be plugged uh, differently, uh, marked differently. So maybe in your case, you, you're not going to have a plus on this side. Maybe your plus is going to be on this side. So it's pretty important that you don't cross those those uh, those uh, positive and negative wires. If you don't reverse them, I mean, just one second. I even I even go into I took a marker for myself, so I see where the plus is. I'm going to mark it plus on this side, and I'm going to look at my plug. 
and I'm going to mark it here. Okay, plus this is the easiest way to know to remember. Now you remove the plastic isolation from the those two wires and you need to connect to those two somehow. So this would be my preferred choice if you go to your local hardware store like a Home Depot loves and buy yourself those lever type connectors. They are really nice. I really like them. They work in excellent. So let me show you how it works. So you open one of the connector and the second one. You put one in one hole and click that lever down. And then you put your second wire into the next to it hole and that's it. It's going to connect those two wires. Now you do the same with the second connector. Open up. Lock. And insert and lock. Test. If nothing is loose, nothing is coming out. And here we have a quick setup that you might be using for the next couple of years. Now we're going to plug in my charger. Check if all of the wires are tight on the batteries and if they are connected like they were before you removed from the scooter. Now check if your charger is on green light like it's supposed to be. And let's plug it in. And there you go. We see red charging light and we hear noise coming from the charger which telling us that it's the charging process started. So now this way you don't have to sweat and recharge each battery individually. Basically what you're doing, you're recharging your batteries just like you would be doing by plugging into your scooter. Exactly the same way. I think this would be the best setup as long as you're willing to buy those two parts and those electrical connectors at your local hardware store. Now, after the charger is done charging, after 6-7 hours, unplug your charger and after 4-5 weeks, plug it, plug it in back to recharge them again because this charger will not maintain battery charge if the energy will drop so it will not it will not kick in automatically to recharge your battery after six weeks so you will have to unplug it and replug it back in place all right well look again make sure that it's pretty clear for you what needs to be done i don't think it's that hard it's a pretty straightforward and uh, that's the only two options that you have how to save your batteries from cold winters if you don't have a heated garage and how to charge them off of the scooter. On my next video I will be showing you how to revive or recondition your batteries if you accidentally forgot to maintain your battery a charge during the winter storage. For now, guys, stay safe. Glory to God and glory to Ukraine.